There is a big misconception in the internet marketing and affiliate marketing space. Um, and you've really got to be careful who you listen to because to be honest, if you go about believing this, then you're going to struggle and you're going to lose and you're going to fail. So I need to, uh, I need to talk about this today. I need to, uh, share what this is and share the real answer, the real solution to this misconception and what the reality is so you can actually get the results you desire in your online business. The Drive. Good morning, welcome to another episode of The Drive. It is Dean here, of course, en route to Internet Profits HQ. It is frosty, snowy, icy, here in the UK, but the sun is shining and what a glorious, glorious day it is. So, there is a big, big, humongous misconception in the internet marketing industry. It's almost like the pink elephant in the room that everybody's just walking around saying and stating and believing. But yeah, the reality is, it's just not true. And it's causing more and more people, I believe, to struggle and, and stay stuck and, and have the wrong mindset and the wrong outlook of an online business. And therefore, that holds them still, holds them stuck. It confines them. You know, and believe me, I used to have this thinking myself. I used to believe this too. So, you know, I'm not attacking anyone that believes this here now. But where you will be deserved to, to kind of stay stuck is if you don't listen and take on board what I'm about to say and do something about it. So... Let me take you way back, um, early 2000s, 2004, 2005, 2006, something like that. Um, I was working in a bar, in a pub here in England. And um, I was working basically six nights a week, six days a week. I was working what's called like split shifts. So I would start work at 11 a.m., I would finish at three, then I'd have a, about a 45 minute drive home and I would go back and start work at 7 p.m. until about 11 or 12 uh, midnight. And I would do that uh, six days a week, and one day off a week. And um, for that type of job, to be honest, the pay wasn't that good. Um, I'm trying to think back. I was on about 12,000 pounds, which is probably in today's conversions, um, I don't know, about $15,000. And so I wasn't on great money. I was doing a lot of work for the money I was on. And things were, I wasn't in debt. I didn't have debts at this stage, but I wasn't living the life how I wanted to. And that's what actually allowed me, thankfully, I'm very grateful for that situation now. You've got to always look at these things. Um, I'm very, uh, it, it was that that uh, allowed me to find internet marketing and affiliate marketing because I was in search of ways to make more money. I wasn't happy with my situation, but the key is I wasn't in debts at that stage. Now, because of what I began to read and what I began to learn and the types of products I began to buy and the, the information I began to believe, okay, and this is where it becomes essential that you're very mindful over who you choose to listen to. Because of the stuff I chose to believe, I thought that I could essentially get rich easy and quick online. I thought there wasn't gonna be much to it, that I could just buy a product, follow the course, and get rich as untold, ultimately. Now, because of that mentality, I just kept throwing money after money after money on bad product after bad product, and also on good products that I failed to fully see through on and commit myself to because I wasn't looking to work hard and build a business. I wasn't looking to add value. I was just looking to get rich quick, make money. Now, because of that, I ended up getting in severe, severe debts. Um, literally, over the first four years of my trying to get rich quick online, I didn't make a penny, and I also spent in excess of $60,000. I had five credit cards, I had two sizable bank loans into the five figures, and uh, things were really, really bad. And nobody in my life knew. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to talk about that story so much, but there is an important reason I had to share a bit of backstory to this. You see, because of all of that, I ended up in severe debts and I was in a very poor financial situation, a financial crisis, if you like, by my mid-twenties. But I was four years into learning internet marketing and affiliate marketing. Now, 
everything changed for me when I got a mentor and I joined a coaching program and I invested the last bit I could um, on a credit card to join a coaching program and, and that's that was the turnaround. Now, here's the thing. Often when people would hear my backstory and that of many others online, it leads you to believe that you can come into online marketing in a financial crisis and turn your situation around quickly and get rich, right? Because I'm very fortunate that I've been able to build a successful company and, and many, uh, several successful, uh, be involved in many successful businesses and learn from amazing people and, and go on to, you know, live a much better lifestyle than I was many years ago, 10, 12 years ago. But because of the story, people believe Oh, well, I'm broke, I'm financially in a crisis, I have no funds, no access to money, but I can use internet marketing and become an affiliate to get rich, turn myself around, and everything will be amazing. But it's just not true. Internet marketing and affiliate marketing is not a path out of a severe financial crisis, right? And why do I say this? Because you have to have correct expectation. You have to have a realistic headspace on your shoulders, right? You have to have the correct mind frame and mindset. It is going to take you some money, right? If I have not invested in a mentor, for example, I guarantee you I wouldn't even be in internet marketing now because I would have nothing left. I would have, well, maybe, maybe I would have somehow been able to get back into it, but I don't know. It's questionable. The mentoring, the, the investment into that help was a big thing. But aside from that, hosting, autoresponder, um, education, all these things, right? Put it this way. If you had zero funds and you were in severe debts and in a poor financial situation, would you see becoming a surgeon or a doctor as a path out of a financial crisis? Or would you say to yourself, well, I need funds to be able to do that. I'm going to have to go to university. I'm going to have to pay for my tuition, uh, my fees my books, my education, I've got to pay for all that stuff, probably, you know, 50, 60, 80, $100,000 plus over the next five, 10 years, then after that, I can be in a better financial situation. You would know that, you would expect, well, I've got to pay in both money and time first, then I can pull my, then I can be in a better financial situation. So you wouldn't see that as a way out of having nothing because you knew you'd have to invest to have something. And an online business is no different. It really is about having to put some time and money in to learn and f educate yourself, learn from the right people, to do the right thing, to have the right plan and support, to then be able to have a much better financial situation. So, look, I just wanted to get rid of that because it is a real poor misconception. I think one of the reasons the, statist the statistics are so bad, you know, it really, you know, the numbers state that 97, 98% of those that try fail in this marketplace to ever make a successful income, an income that, you know, can get them out of their jobs and that kind of thing. And why is that? And I think it's because probably a large percentage of those people, not all, but a large percentage of those people are starting with less than nothing and unable to invest and put something in, unable to do the autoresponders fees subscription, unable to pay the hosting subscription, unable to invest in getting some real help and support, unable to invest in advertising. You know, if you can't do those things, if you can't invest in your education, your tools and your advertising, you're going to have a, a tough, tough time. And that's why most people stay stuck is because they start with nothing and they don't believe they have to put anything in. And I want to just get that out there now. I am here, sat here, Dean Holland, having come from no debts into internet marketing, building up massive debts, and then finally being able to turn that around to go on to generate millions of dollars in online sales. I'm telling you categorically, that is what it takes and that is the big misconception. So if you enjoyed this, please like, please share, and of course here on YouTube, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these daily videos Monday to Friday that we're putting out. So join us along, enjoy this value, hit subscribe, and of course, I will see you again in another episode of The Drive. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.